So uh, the build's making uh, progress. And uh, I have to install my rear main seal down here. And uh, that's the one you want to get right because uh, you'll leak oil otherwise, you'll have your clutch. Bad, bad, bad. So anyways, to get that pressed in there, uh, they make a tool, but I actually made one myself out of a three inch piece of PVC. So basically I'm gonna lay it, just turn that to the inside edge here. This is the old seal, obviously. And uh, it's gonna push on the seal, but this lip here seats on the crank. That, you know, or sit, it seats right on this little edge right there, so it keeps it aligned. So when you punch it in there, it keeps it straight. It keeps it going in straight, so. The only downside to this is uh, you can see it's not, I'd like it to grab more of the seal, but uh, the trade-off is, you know, it was almost a perfect fit, so I mean, again, I just cut the cap off, turned it flat, and I'm gonna give it a try, so we'll see how it works. All right, so for the next step, uh, just put the new seal slightly on with some, uh, Try flow get in place. I don't know if people use water oil, but I'm trying to keep it clean because I'm going to go ahead and add some high tech around here. Now, you know, the internet read, you know, some guys do it, some guys don't. I'm just had good luck with high tech in a lot of spots, so I'm just going to do the overkill versus uh, I'm going to change one of these later. So now I'm going to try and tap it in. All right, well, here's the final product. So the tool worked pretty good. It did go in a little sideways, so um, I wasn't too happy about that, but let's say sideways, maybe 20 thou more on one side than the other. So it, it's close. But the key here is, I think something really telling is, is I measured the offset from this block surface to um, the main cap surface, or the, um, you know, the seating surface for the seal here. And from this face to there was 75 thou, and this protrudes 300. So that would mean the recess needs to be about 50 thou when I measure it and I mic it, caliper it, I'm sorry. It's like 48 to 50 thou. So it's seated just how it should. It turns, and hopefully it's not going to leak.